my left at Eddie Von Clay. This is at Living Life Joe. Make sure you go follow this guy at Eddie Von Clay and Eclectic Soul Cafe, and go follow my main man at YPFP underscore. So it was a big weekend this weekend. Not really big, but it was, it was decent. It was a decent weekend. So if you didn't know, the Jordan Nines came out. Dream it, do it. If you didn't get a chance to get them, I seen them in person. They was cool. If we can, we will post the video. I actually forgot about this. I did see where uh, I think Hype Beast, maybe Modern Notoriety, they posted like there was a, um, I guess like a little chaos in the mall. Eventually, right. it was like a stampede. People got stomped out. It was crazy. Oh yeah, I seen that. Up, at, up. What happened, what happened to uh, Floydville? I don't know. I, I know this one was New York. I don't know if this one was down south. I'm officially calling the tax season nines though. Tax season makes people do the craziest, strangest, Facts. coolest things when it comes to this jump man stuff. So, uh, the tax season nine. Also, and nurses came out this weekend. Yes. We will have one to review next Soul Club episode. Also, Supreme Band Aids came out. Um, this guy right here got a couple cops. Got a couple. Got a couple. Got the um, the Ghost Rider white jacket. Buy the band aids. And I got one of the carrying pouches just because I'm tired of putting my like sketch stuff all over the place and all that. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. If everybody uses their Supreme different, we right. shall see. The band aids, from what I've heard, I have not physically seen it myself. I will be checking tonight actually, but they are popping up in certain CVSs across the country. So if you are out and about and you just happen to go to your local CVS, if you see a band aid brand with the red stripe and it says Supreme, if I were you, I'd probably cop it. Retail in store is five twenty nine. On um, Supreme site, it was six dollars, but you gotta remember that ten dollar uh, shipping, shipping plus taxes. Supreme is now charging taxes depending on your state. So again, be mindful. Right. So I got the bandits coming in. So we'll have all of that stuff to review on the next episode. You can see what it looked like, and by then, the new Supreme stuff come out. So this week in Supreme, right here we got the Mocha Maker. So what they're saying is um, Bialette, I believe it's uh, that's how you pronounce it. It's an Italian company. Right. They're one of the originators of the uh, stovetop uh, mocha maker. They would they have collabed with Supreme. Uh, we'll have a picture up for you. Right. But it'll be an all uh, red kettle. It'll have Supreme. So essentially, the stripe will be down like this, but it'll be in white. The kettle itself will be in red. It's like that powdered uh, coating. And the bottom, because it does go on the stove, will still be a uh, chrome silver. But it should be pretty interesting, pretty dope. For a coffee lover like myself, it's a must have. But it'll actually be not your traditional, well I guess you could say a traditional coffee. But how it will operate is you'll put your uh, coffee grounds in there, you'll fill it up with water in here. Once you put it on the stove, it'll percolate, it'll do its thing. And your coffee will then form up top, ready to pour. Uh, these actually go for either online or just various stores for like 20 to 30, sometimes $40, depending on the size. Right. Uh, the only issue that we don't know as of right now is what size they will be releasing with Supreme. If you do go on the site, which we'll, we'll post our Instagram, um, it has a picture, it has a full 360 picture of what the maker will look like and um, yeah. all that good stuff, just not the size. So the size will also determine the price and we know what Supreme will probably determine the hype as well. So I know for sure I'll be getting one. So for all my coffee lovers out there, that's definitely coming out. He just broke it down for you. So you shouldn't have any questions when it come out. You know what I'm saying? We try to give you all the inside information if we can. Also, drum set. Boom. Travis Baca, shout out to you. Supreme, 50. Supreme's only dropping 50. Here's the kicker. It's only in store. Only in store. 50 only in store. Uh, it's going to be a Pearl collab. So the Pearl Supreme mm -hmm. drum set. The traditional Pearl drum sets go between 3000 and up. Uh, this particular drum set, if it's the equivalent thereof, is probably going to be about 7000 So that's just retail. So I can only imagine Damn. what resale is going to be. There's only going to be 50 So if it's anything remotely like the limited items that do drop, yep. like the skate deck or the trunk uh, that they did with Supreme LV, mm -hmm. retail is already high, as we know, and resale is probably going to be something ridiculous. The skate deck itself was twelve thousand when it dropped with Supreme and LV. But remember, the pinball machine was ten thousand. Yeah. When the pinball machine was dropped ten thousand, it doubled. So they sold it for like twenty to twenty-five after they picked it up. But the skate deck now goes for seventy thousand. 
So gracious. Exactly. How many water balloons? I want to say it was between ten and twelve. So seventy thousand, and that's the skate deck and the mm. trunk. So it's a, it's a combo that comes together. So with this drum set, real musicians, you're talking celebrities, you're talking athlete celebrities, and all this other good jazz. They definitely have it. That's that's a, like a showroom piece. Oh, absolutely. That, that, that's like that's like a piano piece. Like if Supreme got with a piano, I wouldn't be surprised walking somebody's house and somebody got oh, a big. That'd be crazy. <laughs> somebody got a Supreme piano just sitting in the mud. Oh, that'd be crazy. Of course. Also, um, so that's that's what tossing up for Supreme this week. Um, so. My man had smoke. I had real smoke again. As you know. Now, here's the thing. Like, before we <laughs> even get into it, before we even really, really get into it, it's kind of a good thing and it's kind of a bad thing. It's more of a bad thing as me, as a consumer, who wanted something really, really bad. Two things really, really bad. This is the third time this happened to me. My beef is with StockX. Mm. Again, mm. fear of God, from the fear of God one to now the fear of God Skyline, Skyline, Skyline right. 2. Skyline 2. And no one even cares about those, so I'm not even sure what the issue was with those. But this is the third time my order has been canceled. The good part about it is, the reason they said it was canceled, or all three of them have been canceled consecutively, <laughs> is because they can't authenticate them, they can't ensure that they're authentic. Which I appreciate. Thank you for looking out for me. You appreciate that. But at the same time... I want my damn shoe. I want my shoe. This is the third time I've ordered the one. Canceled. I've ordered the Skyline. Canceled. I ordered the one. Actually, technically fourth time. Canceled. And then back to the Skyline. The the light bone. That's what I got. That's what I ordered. Second go around or third go around. Canceled. Why? Like I don't understand. I think I think stock has took on too much that they can handle. To be honest with you. And I'm saying in the way of authentication. I don't know how much money stock has made, but if they're charging, what did you say they start charging with the shipping? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they started to start shipping and something else. They will be start, and actually, uh, as of right now, per my last order that was canceled, they did not actually charge me anything extra in far in reference to my state uh, tax or shipping. Oh yeah, the only okay. thing they actually charged me was the the direct shipping. That was it. Okay, now if you're gonna add that, I think you get a couple people authenticate stuff because what you sell on TV, because you got commercials now. What you sell on TV and all the ads is, hey, you need a shoe? Come here, I got you. If I click on a shoe, even worse, even worse, what makes this even like that much more painful is now uh, StockX, they have various pop-up locations where you can actually, instead of shipping the shoe, you can directly take the shoe and they'll authenticate and ship out directly from that pop-up location. And one of those locations is in New York. Us being in Maryland, you're literally talking about a three-day turnaround if everything is done properly. Again, how and why does this continue to happen? It's crazy. I, I don't know. I just think that if you got enough money, you should be the highest of authenticators. Yeah. You know. I and mean, we know the money's there. I mean, they have billion dollar investors right now. So. Exactly. So we know money. But what I would like to say is, Flight Club has the same problem. Oh, of course. Because, because Flight Club, they take your shoe. All right. But see, good. the difference is between the two is StockX is a middleman. And honestly, as someone else said this on another show, I'm not going to give them like shine that they don't really need because they got enough shine. But they did make a valid point. StockX right now, I think in the next five years, there will be the Amazon of sneakers. And I think that's beautiful, it's amazing, it's cool, it's dope. But on the flip side of that, when you have a flight club, places like this, who are strictly consignment, you know, for the most part consignment, right, right. they really don't, I don't wanna say they don't care, but they really don't care. Mm. They bring, you guys bring shoes in, you put them on consignment, they tax as much as they can so they can get their fee, you can get your money, it's whatever. Right, StockX, they're being a middleman for you, so they're not really making a killing, they're making a killing off volume. Not five. Yeah. But the volume is crazy, so I don't understand why they keep, like, why would you take a shoe you can authenticate and put it up there? Because when you take the shoe, are you updating it? Are they saying size seven, size seven and a half? Because there's no way you would see the shoe if it wasn't authenticated, then why is it up there? And then to add insult to injury, right? Because I'm already tight at this point. <laughs> so they send me the email, they tell me my order's canceled. Within the email, there's a hyperlink so I can bid on the item, right? So you're telling me it's not authentic, but then you're sending me to a link where I can bid on another, if not the same item, a similar item. So then I go on it, right? and none of them are there anymore. So um, all the light bones are all bid now. There's no more buy it now. There's no anything so, like that. But the thing is, my size isn't even up for bid. So why send me a link for something I can't bid on? I, it's crazy. It, so stock and get your stuff together. Please. The day. Because this, this happened, oh, you didn't have to shoe up it. The other shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. Adidas now. I don't want to do it. I want to do it with Nike. I want to do it with Nike. So 
We just want to tell y'all, beware of stock ads. Not say anything. And a lot of kids, do y'all history, man. Stop looking at every time. Every time y'all buy shoes with somebody now, let me see stock ads going for. Let me tell you something. Different regions, different markets go for different things. And I'm going to say this. I respect StockX for the fact that they give you like an average benchmark. I don't think it's completely accurate. Because honestly, I don't think it can be completely accurate. Right. Because your mom and pop sneaker stores, you can't tell me that you're getting accurate numbers from them. Because 90% of those numbers are under the table anyway. Right. And it's, it's moving in real time to the point that you really don't know. So the StockX numbers, to me, you're looking at your major retail locations, like yeah. your, your Foot Lockers, your Finish Lines, your Champs, flight club, your Flight Clubs, your Ebay, stadium, stadium Goods, go things like that. So if that's the benchmark, I kind of understand it. I just don't right. fully agree with it. But it gives you a good average. So I it, it gives you a good average, but like in Maryland, we know, like, for example, the Nines, Dream It, Do It came out. A lot of people did, probably didn't even buy a better eye about it. Yeah. But it was lines wrapped around for those. Which is crazy. So depending on where you at and what region, there's somebody who, they didn't even got the bed for them. Yeah. They said, no, somebody shelf right now. You know they went to outlets already. That, and, yeah. I, and I can guarantee you up here, everybody wanted them. So I'm just saying, different region, different markets, but like you said, they try to get a benchmark. But you got to steal recently, my friend. Yes. Good old Marshalls. They didn't, they didn't steer me wrong. So traditionally, this shoe was called the Inike. I'm not sure if it was like a cultural thing or Adidas was like, maybe people just can't pronounce it, but they ended up changing the name. So now it's the I-5923. It comes in a trillion different colorways, but this one I found at Marshall's for the smooth 25 bucks. Let me ask you a question. What does that normally retail for? Is it a retail for 60, 70, 80, 100? Normal retail, I want to say it's around 80. I mean, okay. this is one of those shoes, like when it first came out, there was a lot of hype on it. The colorways were like crazy. Right. Uh, now the hype has kind of died down, but you're still getting that blue sole, dumb comfortable. You're getting the gum bottom, which I love. The, the navy blue, I'm not a big navy blue shoe uh, fan, but the navy blue and orange remind me of Dragon Ball Z without getting the, uh, the, the, I know the young about. ones the and young the one. other ones that they came yeah. out with. That I think the were a little freezes. bit, they were a little bit too over the top, but the shoe was crazy comfortable. They had a rack of sizes. So I was like, boom. And for the price, it was a super steal. You got good quality. You got mesh. You got suede. You got crazy soft tumbled leather on the heel tab. Oh, man. So for what it was, I was like, this is amazing. I had to snatch it up. Couldn't do nothing better. $25, so. And it's cozy, boys. It's only dumb comfortable. So I got it. 25 bucks. Can't pass it up. Be checking your local Marshalls, Rosses, places like that. Because they do have steals and deals. You just got to look for them. Yeah, and if you can see our setup today, we decided to go to some Adidas. Um, we always show love to Nike. We Too always, much love. We show a lot of love. So you cut the check and we get no more love. Yeah, Kyrie wants Pepsi. Um, so as you know, Yeezys, and what I will say is, Yeezy turned the state of Adidas. They did because before Yeezy went to Adidas, I I couldn't imagine what Kanye would look like still on Nike. Very interesting and dope picture. I think we'll post it. Of, uh, John Wexler, he is the brand. Um, oh yeah, his cause. I would say not the brand ambassador, but he's the. Um, I think he's ahead of like the marketing as far as pushing to influencers. He's like the brand no, I mean, yeah, influencer. I his cause is crazy. Every every time. He but he posted the uh, timeline of Yeezys from Adidas or from Kanye getting to Adidas initially till now. It's crazy. I took. Beyond crazy. I gotta see that picture. We'll post the picture. We definitely gonna post the picture because I told everybody, I was like, oh man, I'm like, yo, the boost, the boost might have been there, but I don't think the boost would have been what it is now. No. If because when these came out, oh my goodness, this was crazy. Like when this came out, when it was like 1600 yeah. crazy. There was a guy, I got an Asian cat who literally bought two hundred. What was it? Two hundred thousand dollars worth of. Of these, he got the, something crazy. Yeah, he got an investment. So Kanye changed the whole game of Adidas when when it came. And then Pharrell came along, just and like really, really blew it out the water. So it's amazing. And speaking of, now that we're on Adidas, I had to go full theme today. I guess we'll kind of get into the fits. So today, what you got on, Joe? So what I got on today, simple um, Scooby Doo hoodie. Spencer's my favorite cartoon character. Um, for you guys, I wear t-shirts underneath mine, you know, it's not cool if you don't. And I need just a polo, regular polo t-shirt, green Levi jeans, 
I went with traditional polo socks today. Comfortable. I've been wearing colored socks. So I went with traditional white. And then I got the, oh, my favorite, one of my favorite shoes. I love Galaxy Theme. If you watch this show, I love Galaxy Theme. This glow on this shoe is so hard still to this day. I want to so, say it was 2012, 2013. Yeah, 2012. And it came with the paper in it and the, the box was, I, I like the paper came in, Alien Sight. I love boxes. I think it tells a story about a dope shoe. And if you take your time with this shoe and it got like the moon rocks, it's just, I mean, I love it. I think you take your time with this shoe and I love the Area 72 movement. But when you like to take your time with that shoe, they do it better than, they do it one of the best. So. Speaking of, I'll get to my fit shortly, but also for Air Maxes, um, this uh, month, they're not going to be doing like the Air Max Day traditionally. It was announced uh, yesterday slash today, kind of, sort of. We'll put the picture up for you. But what uh, Nike will be doing for Air Max Day, they'll actually, instead of get fresh air, they'll be giving fresh air. So they'll be doing community projects and things like that. So the traditional Air Max shoes will be released throughout the months instead of on a day or leading up to that day. But speaking of the uh, galaxy slash moon type theme, the Air, the air Max Nike. Mars. Yeah. Those things are crazy. It's all the upper is fully 3M reflective. Uh, when it's not with the reflective, it's all red. It has pretty much the image of Mar yeah. what Mars looks like. It came out on. Um, it came out the blue though. Like nobody had seen it coming. Yeah, I didn't. Like like I it's, it's, it's part of my Twitter. Like I was like. Yeah, and you get like the uh, chrome silver back tab for where the Air Max 90 Nike Air would be, and the the sole of the shoe. I'm not sure if it glows or not, but the midsole is black. But the bottom is like a translucent. It's mm -hmm. like a milky translucent. So it might glow, it might not. Did it, it, said. Did it drop yet? Or it hasn't it, dropped yet. Has, okay. But God, it is dropping it. soon. I want to say maybe by this weekend. Okay, but I've definitely seen the I definitely seen the picture. Oh, big shout out, shout out to uh, Steph Curry, the Curry Five for Women. Um a little girl wrote a letter to Steph Curry. She was looking for the curries and they didn't have them for girls. So she had to design her own shoe. Yep. And the shoe is dope. It's it all, dope. It's all, all yeah. Now, I, I want a pair. Like, they come out of men, I get a pair. They're all purple. She drew in it, two girls playing basketball on the inside. The, the bottom of it is crazy. And I think uh, the insole doesn't actually have, like, the part of the note that she wrote to Steph Curry. Yeah, a little part of it. And then it has two girls playing basketball. And the bottom is crazy. So, the, to me, that's the sleeper shoe of the year. Because that, I know it's not come out in my size. I'm a little upset because I really would love to hoop in that shoe. And I never really, and I wasn't a big Curry fan of sneakers because, you know, I don't know, but those, I give due where due is due. And that's one of the top, one of my top shoes this year it's so far. Honest, I'm going to be honest with you, but when it comes to Under Armour and their shoes, the Currys are carrying them right now. I think, to me, maybe this is the, the designer in me, I think their shoes will go a lot further if they could do something with that UA logo. It's just something about it. You don't want to see it everywhere. And I noticed with the Currys, like the um, the S30, right? The SC30 actually. That logo is fire, and they they use that. They make it bigger. They put it in various places more than the UA, and it kind of carries it along. If they can redesign or just maybe just minimize, like how Adidas did with Yeezys, where you don't see the three stripe everywhere to a certain point, right? I think it'll be amazing. I think it'll push further, and just Under Armour as a whole. I think they have the creative team to do it. But it's just a branding issue. I mean, one thing I will say, like if you look at these, the Wave Runners, you really don't see any Adidas branding for real until you actually look at the 3M, and then you'll notice the stripes here. Because of the lights, you guys will be able to see it. Just looking at it, you won't be able to see it. And then the heel, you, you get the Adidas. But other you, than that, you really don't see with the three stripes. You really don't even see it. If you didn't notice the Kanye, you, got, you have to get the you, light flash. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't have it, you would really be like, I don't know. Exactly. exactly. Shoot it. But I think that was the beauty of it. And that's how they kind of like they. I, the artist was able to do their thing, but Adidas was able to, like, be a part of it. One, so. one, one of the big, uh, uh, from a lot of basketball players I've talked to with the Currys, they didn't want good quality. A lot of Armour didn't have good quality with their shoes. So, during the tournaments, when they was playing in them, they would go through two or three pairs yeah. because of the quality. Because, you know, Under Armour was known for football. Like, that's what, yeah. the guy, actually the guy that started Under Armour started in Maryland, so yeah. made for football. So, and he was, uh, I don't want to say, like, I guess you could say he was like the pioneer for like the dry fit type stuff. He right, because yeah, he started first with the Under Armour. All I'm gonna say is they need to do more stuff with the logo, and they do more stuff like the little girl did with the curves. Yeah. Because what Nike does, and what they're so any of the but what Nike's really great at is taking the theme. Stealing the culture. Oh, beyond that, but taking the theme, doing better, for instance, 
and just be like, hey. Yeah, they go crazy. They go crazy with the collabs. They go crazy with like the culture, how they utilize it. Yeah. But like they really, really get in tune. I, honestly, I, I give a lot of that, like the credit for that to Wyatt and Kennedy. That's like the creative marketing agency that they work with. Hey. And I think that's them more so than Nike. Like the random people that are there, I think they have an idea. They give it to Wyatt and Kennedy and they run with it. I know they do something like that then because that, that idea they did with Little Girl, please go look it up if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's, it's a step, uh, Steph Curry 5, I believe. It's an all purple shoe. A little girl did it. If they need to do more stuff like that, if Steph Curry is your biggest draw, let's say for basketball, like then you gotta give give me some stuff. I think Steph Curry need to be more involved in it. It has to be a process. Even they even they still Nike jump with door back up. Do something for Charlotte. There's a big hospital in Charlotte. I would take the thing because Steph Curry's from Charlotte. Yeah. So do the, the same. Dorn Becker is it's not with Children's Hospital, is it? It's, not, it's, it's like it's not. So, it's, it's the actual Dorn Becker. It's a actual Dorn Becker Hospital work. Yeah, so there is a lot of like causes and different yeah. agencies that they could work. Or, with. or even you could do the uh, Children's Kids, Kids That's Daughters it. in DC, like Children you, St. Jude's. Children's, it's so uh, many yeah. uh, John Hopkins. Like yeah. it's so many with kids. So if you want to do something different, so I think that would be a good idea because y'all have been catering to like that. Like I would love like. Basketball players love wearing shoes with a message. So if you have something that we can wear in our footwear, be like, oh, that's dope, we can wear it. Also, I've been meaning to ask you this question, and it's long overdue. What do you think about Kawhi going to New Balance? I think it's good for him if you're chasing a check. Uh, the shoes themselves, having looked at them, I'm not a big fan. But I think there is like a lot of hope for it because New Balance is known for doing some pretty dope stuff. They're also another one who is like amazing at the collabs. They, what I like about New Balance is the way they use materials. So okay. like he has like a market there. Again, he just needs the right creative team to re really, really push it. But could you see somebody really honestly rocking New Balance basketball shoes? On court? On court. I think it's overdue. I, I couldn't see why not. I mean, if you got Under Armour on court, if you got PJ Tucker in here just balling into anything with the price tag on it, right. you have, uh, what's the other guy? I'm, I don't think he's playing right at the moment. Uh, Swaggy P? Swaggy P, who literally played in just about anything that was hot right, at right, the moment. Right. Until he went to Adidas, like I don't see why not. If every, anybody else can do it, I don't see why not. So we're gonna see Kawhi with New Balance. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to see that. They banned Kanye shoes, by the way. They for did. basketball. They took a camera mess with because the 3M. of because of the three M. But we'll see. He might make an adjustment for the NBA. Right. If he doesn't, oh well. I think they're dope. I'm gonna need a pair. I think they're fire. <laughs> Shout out to Puma. Puma's doing big things in basketball too. They are. I'm just not a fan of the silhouettes. I'm a silhouette person. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the orange, the orange joints are vicious. The orange and black with the pump, those are vicious. But everything else is kind of like teetering. So, I would definitely, definitely, definitely love to see New Balances on the court. Let's see what we got. Because if you're from DMV, if you know everybody wearing New Balances. So, Kawhi, one of the big NBA stars going there, I really want to see what they would do. So, I know everybody in high school in Maryland would wear rock them if they were fired. Yeah, so, I would, I would love to see what they do. Here's that. Oh, yeah, before I... Forget about it. The fit. You got the yes. Supreme Lid orange with the zip pocket. David Beckham H and M jacket. APC shirt. These are cotton on pants. You love you know I love my dad pants. The Pusha T fish scales. Shout out to Adidas one more time with that boost. It's amazing. Uh, the concept I really won't get into because we got kids watching this show possibly. But mm -hmm. those who are familiar with fish scale and Pusha T, they know what these shoes are about. Yep. I mean I think they're dope. Just as a concept, that the materials, everything like that, I think it was amazing. It's just, I don't know, it's a comfortable shoe. It's like one of my uh, go-tos. Uh, I will give you a hint, though. You have the Pyrex insole. You can uh, do your own Googles on that one. Jeezy! <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think it's amazing. Shout out Pusha T. I love but, shoes. But did you just speed past your David Beckham H&M jacket? Yeah, I had to cop that off the little. Off the little. I had it for a I, while. I, I, I didn't even know David Beckham had it. Yeah, he did a collab with H&M. Him and a few other people. Uh, him, Bieber. Um, this was around the same time when like all the design of the big brands were doing like the H&M collabs. I think they've eased up a little bit. Okay. At one point, they had Marc Jacobs. I, I was able to get a Mickey Mouse Marc Jacobs. Uh, Versace. I was able to get a Versace H&M piece. Um, I didn't even know they did that. That's, there's a few, uh, actually, who um, did collabs. But yeah, the David Beckham H&M. What? You got another steal for the art. You didn't even tell the people. Yes, again, Marshalls came through again. This is, I guess, for the art and the fashion aspect of it. But Keith Haring socks, if you don't know who Keith Haring is, please, please, please do your Googles. Mm. He's a Brooklyn designer. He has since passed, but 
His art was major. He was around the time uh, by Andy Warhol, Basquiat, Jeff Koons, all them. He ran in those circles, Fab Five okay. Freddy. But they had the Keith Haring socks for a smooth $5.99 three pack. And on the socks themselves was actual Keith Haring artwork, uh, his paintings actually. So if you can, check again. Like I said, Marshalls, they have the steals and deals. Mm. You get some art and you get some dope socks. So you won't be like Joe sometimes. Again. Yes. Dope. Again. But he, he's back in the game now. Yeah. He's back in the game. He's baby. got the polos. He's good now. He's good, baby. We're good back. That's what I'm showing you. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, one thing I do want to cover, LeBron James passed Michael Jordan for fourth all-time on the scoring list. Um, big accomplishment. He said Michael was his idol, his hero. So, we're going to see. Now, the, the next question is, is LeBron going to pass Kareem? I don't see. The only thing LeBron is going to do is ruin Space Jam 2. But that's just me, though. I, I, I'm on the fence. Trash. I'm on the fence. Trash. I respect LeBron for doing this whole Hollywood thing. He moved to LA. He's big into the producing now. Uh, speaking of producing, he was an EP, executive producer on Two Chains album. Two Chains. A uh, rapper goes straight to the league, something like that. Yep. So far from what I've heard of the album, I'm gonna be honest with you, it is pretty dope. Uh, there's a couple lines on there I won't quote on this show, but he <laughs> definitely has some quotables on the album. Uh, respect LeBron for doing it, but certain things to me, from a nostalgic mm -hmm. purpose. And standpoint just shouldn't be touched. Space Jam being one of them, but it is what it is. I'm gonna tell you what he does with it. I hope if Space Jam two come out, this is what I hope. I hope they bring back Warner Brothers merchandise. They will. Oh, oh be, they're be, gonna milk that cow. Be, because, oh, that's over. Be, because I need all the pieces. Oh, they're gonna milk it. Be, ah, see, the, but, but but the reason I need it is because okay. So if you guys are not familiar with Maryland, Maryland has a big WB thing. We had a, we had a theme park for Six Flags was WB. We had a WB store. They took it out the blue. Everybody was upset about it because that's that was our thing. Jackets. Buzz Bunny, jean jackets, all that stuff. So if they do come out with it, like I'm still searching for vintage pieces online, but I would love to get some Warner Brothers stuff. You can't tell me you, some, one of those pieces is gonna be dope. Some some things just should be touched. But so, again, so, so would you not would you not get a piece? I'd have to see him. I would genuinely have. I to know see what him. I'm saying. I would think I'd have to see him, and it'd have to be fire. I'm I thinking I'd suggest. One, one, one of the pieces is going to be fire. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So, honestly, every time I think of Bugs Bunny and, like, Warner Bros. and stuff like that and all that, like, when I think of, like, actually wearing the, the clothing outside of Space Jam, we're talking sneakers, is Iceberg. Yeah. I remember when Iceberg, they did, like, the Looney Tunes and all those. Iceberg, that's like stuff. Fat Farm and all that different stuff. Yeah, Iceberg, so, everybody know that, but that's what I'm saying. It was not that to me, I guess. I mean, everybody, that's, it's not hard to find, but you got to go to eBay, search for yeah. it, stuff like that. But people have really, really been, like, you know, from Warner Brothers. Like, if they brought that stuff back, it would go crazy. So, I mean, just, you know, to each his own with LeBron and stuff like that. So, with that being said, um, remember, if there's something that you want us to take a look at, if there's something that you want us to review for you, um, if there's something we can do better, let us know. Absolutely. Um, Always looking to improve. But what do you have here, sir? You, one more thing you didn't mention. Oh, all right. So this is awesome, like, really just, like, trying to be cool <laughs> type stuff. So if you guys are familiar with Netflix, Neo Yokio with Jaden Smith, the little anime thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've never had it before, but he was always going crazy about the Tobo Rooms. So I just happened to come across one, so I said, I'm going to try it. I have not cracked it yet, but it is Swiss chocolate with uh, honey, almond, and nougat. I don't know. I just felt like being a fake rich guy for a second with the fancy <laughs> chocolate. So when I do crack it open, next episode, I'm going to have some Toblerone, some exotic coffee, and we're going to talk about it, and we're going to see. We're definitely going to see what's going on. So with that being said, like I said, shout out to LeBron for passing MJ. That was his idol. So shout out to him. Shout out to him for executive producing two chains of the album. Space Jam 2 supposed to come out in 2020. So we're going to see. Remember, no Air Max Day this year. Even though last year was a lot of hype, they give it fresh air, like my main man said. So, make sure, once again. But the releases still are coming, though. So, just know, like, throughout the month, we will have Air Max releases. It just won't be a major Air Max Day thing, or like a whole day in New York where it's, like, dedicated to Air Max, right. like that. And, once again, please, please. Oh, before I sign off, um, Off White, the Blue Air Force One. Yes, the Blue Air Force One. It is a Museum of Modern Art exclusive in mm -hmm. Chicago. It will be uh, debuting, was to say, June 8th to 9th to the 10th. Again, it's Chicago only, so you got to get your tickets. you got to actually be in the museum. 
Virgil will be there. There'll be a showcase for Takashi Murakami, as well as Kanye and a few other individuals. Will they actually be in attendance? I do not know. I know Virgil will for sure. Right, right. I'm almost certain Murakami will also as well because he did a collab art-wise with Virgil. So whether Kanye shows up or not, we do not know. Hopefully we do, but in the meantime, in between time, the Air Force One, all blue, will be there. And actually, they just, uh, I don't know if it's a concept or if it's something that might be releasing, but they have a blue Vapor Max, the exact same color, that could possibly be releasing. It is, um, is it all white though? It's all it white. All white, okay. But it's not guaranteed, but it's not out of the question. We okay. just happen to see the picture surface. We don't know if it's custom or Remember, right. these are the last, last days of off white, so to speak. So that blue off white is going to be worth money. Right. Um, crazy. It's going to be crazy. And the blue vapor max, if people love vapor max now, off white again come out, it's going to be crazy. But I want to mention that to keep that fresh, that may be a tough off white to get. So that being said, make sure you follow my man at Eclectic Soul Cafe and at Avon Clay. And make sure you go follow me at YPLP underscore and at Living Life Joe. This has been the Soul Plug Show. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And hit the bell. We need people to do work the camera for us. Yeah, so any camera operators out there, we're Let hiring them. for free. We're not going to pay you, but we are hiring. And also, please, please don't forget, help us get our subscribers up. The cause get we'll grab bag giveaway we'll is still in full effect. So the more subscribers we get, we hit that thousand. A few lucky people will get bust with some free cause stuff. Or we might give it all to one person. Who knows? It's a possibility. So thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. This has been the Soul Plus Show. Peace. Subscribers.